With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? Two bodies of same mass tied with an inelastic string of length L uh, uh, light, uh, light together. Now one of them is projected vertically upward with a velocity of root 6 gl. We need to find the maximum height up to which the center of mass of uh, of the two masses would rise. Okay. Now what is the situation? For example, this is one of the ob object and uh, this is another object. Okay. So basically they are uh, identical objects. Okay. And they have been tied with a string. So for example, there is a string which is tied. So initially a string would be basically in the relaxed condition. Now what is done? We are just projecting this with an upward velocity of 6 gl in the square root. This is the initial velocity which we are going uh, giving this uh, structure. Now what will happen? So this would be on the ground itself. Okay. Now after that it would rise, it, it would rise, it would rise and when it finally it becomes equal to the length. Okay. It rises up to a height of L then it would be a string would be becoming tight. Okay. So for example at this situation we just uh, draw our block. So our string would become tight. Okay. Now. So what would be the velocity at this instant of time? First of all, we need to calculate this value of the velocity. Let's call this value as to be uh, V1. Okay. Now, just at this instant, velocity of the lower block would be equal to zero. Now, just it becomes equal to the length. Here, velocity would be equal to zero. Okay. Now, after that, what will happen? After that, they both would be rising. Okay. This is the final situation. So they both would be rising. Okay. Now, if they both would be rising, then they would be getting a common velocity. Because along the string, we know that velocity would be common. So let's assume that velocity in the second case would be equals to V2 for this block. Similarly, V2 would be for the, this block also. And the center of mass would also be moving with this common velocity. Why? Because the velocities of the two identical block are same. So if this is the center of mass, it would be moving with the common velocity, which would be equals to V2. Okay. Now, initially, this would be the location of the height of the center of mass at a distance of L by 2. Now, first of all, we find this value of the velocity. How can we find this value of the velocity? So this is the initial velocity. We apply the formula V square equals U square plus 2 AS. Okay. What is the velocity V1? So V1 square. What is the initial velocity? It is square root of 6 GL. So square would be 6 GL. Now acceleration due to gravity would be in, in the downward direction. So we put the value of AS minus G. And what is the displacement? It is equals to L. Now this value would turn out to be 4 GL that means our V1 is equals to 2 square root G into L. Okay. This is the value of the V1. Now it is rising. Now just so uh, just when the string becomes taut. Okay. So momentum would be would be conserved just before uh, uh, this becoming taut and after the uh, uh, string, uh, this uh, string becoming taut momentum would be conserved just at that instant of time. So that means our initial momentum. Okay. This would be equals to final momentum in the vertical direction just uh, before is string becoming tight. Okay. Now what is the initial momentum? So initially this is at rest and that it is moving. So we say that it would be M into V1 equals to now finally what will happen? They would be moving with a common velocity. So we can say that it would be equals to M plus M times this velocity V2. So from here we get the velocity V2 as V1 divided by 2. Now what is V1? We know it is equals to Two uh, in the square root then gl. So if we divide this by two, it would be g into l in the square root. This is the value of the velocity v2, and this velocity would be same as the velocity of center of mass. That means center of mass would be moving with the velocity of uh, this uh, square root gl. Okay. This would be the velocity of center of mass. Now, if this is the velocity of center of mass, okay, from this level, from this, how much high could the center of mass rise? So it could rise up to a height when the final velocity would become zero. So we again apply the formula V square equals U square plus 2 A into S. Now final velocity would become zero. Then initial velocity would be equals to of the center of mass. It would be uh, square root GL square. So it would be uh, GL. Now acceleration due to gravity would be in the downward direction. So we put the value of acceleration as minus G and H would be the height of the center of mass. So from here we get the value of our height as GL divided by uh, 2g. So it would be L divided by 2. Now L divided by 2 is the height from this location. That means from this location center of mass rises to a height of L by 2. But initially from the surface it was at a height of L by 2. Okay. So what is the total height? What is the maximum height of center of mass? 
so h max would be equals to h max would be equals to l by 2 the initial height plus l by 2 that means it would be equals to l okay so which is the correct option l so the correct option would be our d option hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today